to lead us in the uh, lead us in prayer. Thank you for having me. Let's pray together. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here together in the same room. And so, Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be here to lead, guide, and direct us. And the conversation here would be in alignment with your will. God, we want you to be glorified in us individually and in this city. God, we ask that you would bless this night. But, God, we ask that you would bless our city as we continue to work for the good of our people. So, Lord, we are thankful for you. Thank you for the offer of eternal life through Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. Would you please join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance. Can I get the roll call, please? Mayor Finley? Here. Councilmember Robleski? Here. Councilmember Spears? Councilmember Powell? Here. Councilmember Sh Council President Shaw? Here. Councilmember Bartlett? Here. Councilmember Denzine? Here. Councilmember Seifert? Here. We have a quorum, so we'll move forward. I know there's a couple of changes to the agenda tonight. Um, Megan, I know you've got one. I do. We'd like to add resolution number 2021-321-R to authorize the purchase of playground equipment for Kids Kingdom from Omnia Partners, and we can add this to 13E3 under the legal department's line. 13E3. E3. And then um, on the minutes, uh, there was a glitch in our computer system that they did not load onto the agenda packet, so we're going to wait on these to give everybody time to renew them. Um, we got them as council, but I don't think the rest of the public got them, so we're going to wait and vote on those in two weeks at our next meeting. So uh, we won't vote on those th this week. Other than that, I don't have anything else um, as far as, so we'll move, move forward with that, and we'll move into presentation and awards and start with the gold award the uh, Gold Award pre presentation. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and Council Members. My name is Anya Johnson. I am a junior at James Cummins High School and in the Girl Scout Troop 926. I would like to present to you my Gold Award project. Right now, there is no place to take the U.S. flags to be properly disposed in the city of Madison. The Girl Scouts also don't have any documentation on how to properly, properly conduct a flag retirement ceremony. To address the first issue, I made three boxes that will be placed at the three Madison fire stations that will allow everyone to drop off their flags if they need to be retired. Two boxes are currently placed at fire stations one and three. The last box is displayed here tonight and will go at fire station two. To address the second issue, I put together a flag retirement ceremony and retired close to 300 flags. I also did a video pamphlet to show other Girl Scouts how to conduct a flag retirement ceremony. I will also put an article in the Madison Record and local social media pages to let the community know about the various box locations. I would like to give a special thanks to Jean Downs, my troop leader, Commander Larry Vinoy from the American Legion Post 229, John Few from the Madison Record, and David Bailey, the Madison Fire Chief, for their help and guidance through this process. Thank you. So on the box, on the side, we put the American flag. On the front, we have a sticker of the American Legion, and on the bottom is the description of the box. All right. Very good. Thank you. First and foremost, congratulations for what you're doing. It's, it, it happens to be very helpful. Very, it's a patriotic community that flies a lot of flags. Knowing how to dispose of them properly is important, and I think what you're doing is great, and we really thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. I just wanted to say congratulations on achieving your gold award. That is huge. It's the highest award in Girl Scouts, so congratulations for all of your hard work. I know it took many years. Thank you. Yeah.
First up, we have a uh, pre presentation of awards to the reserve o officers of the Madison Police Department. So, good evening. For uh, I guess going on a little bit over 10 years now, we have had a uh, reserve pro police reserve program with the Madison Police Department. Unfortunately, in the last uh, 11 years, a lot has changed in law enforcement. And because of some of those changes, we've had to end this program. Uh, but we have uh, some gentlemen here who not only in addition to working their career jobs, but volunteered their time to come out, put on this uniform, be part of the nobility of policing. But there's a bad part that comes with that too. They volunteered to come out and get kicked and spit on and everything else like that that happens in the bad part of police work. Yet they've dedicated their, not only working their normal jobs, but dedicated their time to come out there and help this community in a very important way. And unfortunately, we've had to say goodbye to this program because of costs of insurance and other uh, liability issues that have arisen over time. Police officers have been made to uh, take part in lots of specialized training, which takes a lot of time just for the regular officers, and it would be unfair to ask them to give even more time than themselves to come in and uh, continue with that specialized training, and that's another reason why we've had to end the program. But we didn't want to just end it without any type of fanfare. We wanted to recognize them for their service to their community. So what we've done is we've come up with a, a series of plaques uh, that we're going to hand out to each of these members, and it's something that uh, they can hang on their walls in their offices and, and be proud of their time that they spent here with the Madison Police Department. I've asked the command staff of the Madison Police Department to join me as we send out these, uh, these gentlemen that decided to uh, provide their time to us. Um, and first, I'd like to call up Reserve Captain Curtis Hall. Hey, Chief, if I can get you to speak in into that mic, I've got some folks texting me from home saying they can't hear you, and they want to. That'd be great. Reserve Officer Jerome Burrell. Officer Brandon Doherty. <laughs> Reserve Officer Brian Mitchell.
Reserve Officer Jeff Wynn. Reserve Officer Corey Wright. Again, these gentlemen epitomize service to their community. Next up is public comments. No one has signed up in advance. If you'd like to address mayor and council, please, please come forward. E.B., it's not a meeting unless you come over here and talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no one, including B.B., is willing to come talk to us. We'll move on with the consent agenda and finance committee report. <laughs> Finance Committee met this evening, went over the bills, periodic bills, everything looked in order. Um, I would like to point out a couple of uh, couple of donations. Um, it's always nice uh, that we get donations from our other, I guess, legislative branch and our Senator Tom Butler, um, also County Commissioner uh, Steve Haraway. Uh, Senator Butler gave to uh, Madison Senior System, he gave $2,500 and gave $5,000 to uh, Madison Parks and Recs. In addition, Mike Ball is given to Kids Kingdom uh, through Parks and Rec. And Commissioner Hareway is donating a uh, Ford Bronco Sport uh, to the building department. So I want to acknowledge those and uh, thank, those, thank them for, for that. And with that, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Is there any discussion? Can can I get the vote, please? Council Member Powell? Aye. Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. Motion passes. Next we'll move into presentation of reports and we'll start with the mayor. I don't have anything tonight. All right. District number one. Yes, sir. Um, I attended the McDab and Friends of the Library meeting and wanted to mention at the Friends of the Library, they have a new program, too, for Tuesday, and you can follow what the items are on their Facebook page. Um, I'd like to thank H also thank MPD and Bob Jones for the, all their work with the Bob Jones Parade, the homecoming parade that we had last week or two weeks ago. Um, it was wonderful, beautiful weather, and our next parade will be December 11th, so please mark your calendar for that. And most excitingly, the roundabout is scheduled to open this Friday. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Um, it will be great to see that uh, in play. And that's all I have. Very good. And uh, Connie, district number two is in, is in Montgomery at a TARCOG meeting. She's not here, so district number three. I'd like to thank uh, Public Works. We have an ongoing issue, and they've continually worked it. It's out at Mountain Brook, and there's a uh, it's a drainage area. They put in a new trash rack. Uh, I guess it was last week, Paul. Mm -hmm. And uh, just want to thank them for their work, and you know let everybody know that we're continually working on that, and uh, we'll get it resolved as soon as we can. We think that's that's going to be a big fix, but uh, you know we'll see in the next flash flood. But uh, other than that, that's all I've got. Very good. District number five. I've got one announcement. This Thursday at 7.30, Madison Library will be showing an outdoor movie, Hocus Pocus. And so bring your chairs and 
snacks and blankets and enjoy that to get into the spirit of Halloween. And then my shop local spotlight this time is on Sam and Greg's Pizza and Gelato. And let me highlight a few of their Halloween flavors for gelato uh, that you can get this week. Brain Stew, which is sweet cream with funnel cake and cherry. Uh, Mummy, which is sugar cookie, which is brew, lemon and lime, and candy corn. So uh, stop on, stop by Sam and Greg's and have a little Halloween treat. And that's it. All right, thank you very much. District number six. Hi. First, I'd like to thank Engineering. They have done a marvelous job at getting the pavement done into the neighborhoods along Hughes. They would really become very deteriorated. And I was thrilled, and the neighbors are all thrilled that these are now paved. So I really want to thank uh, Michelle for spearheading that and making sure that that happened for us. It was wonderful. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody that tomorrow is the uh, Police uh, Citizen Advisory Committee, 6.30 here. Tomorrow's topic is um, Crisis Intervention Training and Community Mental Health Officer Programs. Um, I encourage everyone to attend. They will be doing public comments before the meeting, the beginning of the meeting, for any of those that um, want to participate. And I have one other thing that I am going to share because Madison is family, and I always believe that as family we share. I found out recently that my husband has colon cancer, stage four. So if I'm not here every week, please understand, I'll still be serving you the best I can. I will do all I can to continue to be here for y'all. Um, but please be patient with us during this time. Um, and so far I've received so much heartfelt um, communication from so many kind people. And it really does help and it really does matter at this time. And I wanna thank those that have reached out and have been so kind. Um, so yeah, looking forward, we do so with hope. But I didn't wanna let my Madison family know what is going on. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you, Karen. And district number seven. Yeah, so a couple things. Uh, we had a planning commission uh, last uh, last week, and there's uh, at least one uh, large, I say large, um, I guess large is the right word, uh, annexation um, that was part of that. Uh, went fairly well, I think, as part of the, the meeting. Uh, but I encourage each of you as that comes forward to council, uh, you know, to, to reach out <coughs> to the best planning. I got all the all the information, but uh, from what we saw, it looked to be a, a, a fairly fairly good and advantageous and strategic uh, thing for the city. So I encourage you all to, as you normally do, do your homework. But um, uh, take a look at that and reach out. Um, at the other part of this, I want. Uh, brag on somebody that probably ain't gonna brag on themselves. But uh, this past weekend, Saturday, um, for anybody that did come, there was a rail yard, barbecue, and music festival over here behind uh, Old Black Bear. And um, it, it was for me kind of being born and raised in a small southern town, it was nice to come back and actually see us do something. You know, we've, we've all been kind of stuck up indoors for quite a while. And um, uh, it was nice to get out there and, and listen to some music and get around folks and just, just have a good time and kind of get back to, to life a little bit. Um, but with all that being said, I want to thank uh, Councilman Greg Shaw, uh, Todd Seaton of Old Black Bear, um, Eugene, and I'm sorry, I don't know Eugene's last name at Champions. Young. 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 Eugene Young uh, at Champions, and then you're going to have to help me with Chuck Wayne. Stephen Holly. Stephen Holly. Stephen Holly. At Chuck Wagon, that were I, I guess four of the primary sponsors getting that put on, and I actually asked Greg at the thing. I was like, "Hey, what what kind of got you?" And he's like, "Man, I just want to get out and do something." <laughs> and and I think that was kind of the sentiment that I saw was it was nice to just get out and do something, enjoy the out outdoors and everybody. Uh, great time, good barbecue, uh, great music. Um, I want to thank also our first responders uh, that were there, as well as all the many volunteers and everybody that made that event a success. Um, I think I saw Hensie have to go to one person <laughs> while we were there the whole time. Uh, I don't think I saw a fight, which I will say I'll, I'll challenge our, our school systems to see if we can uphold that on Friday night. <laughs> um, 
So it was it was nice. It was nice to see that folks enjoying themselves, having a good time, and uh, hats off to the sponsors that that made that event uh, and the volunteers that made that event a success. So that's Very all good. I, got. I sure appreciate it. Very good. We'll move into. There's no board or committee appointments tonight. Move into public hearings and. Cameron's up. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, the Revenue Department, we've got uh, one public hearing this evening. Uh, we re received a request from Jalase Hospitality LLC doing businesses uh, Abbott Hotel. They requested an on or off premise uh, beer and wine license for their location. Uh, this is at the hotel at the corner of 565 and Walter Anna Highway. Um, everything's in order for this considered to uh, be considered. I'd like to open the uh, the uh, public hearing. Then we'd like to address council. It's the Abbott Hotel. Is that right, Cameron? Mm -hmm. It's the Abbott Hotel. It's Alpha. a full train in 565. It's they've one they've of got the a pantry in there for the uh, guests to uh, purchase it and take it back to their room. Yeah, it's one of the new hotels that can be a part of the town matter. Right yeah. next to... Um, it's right behind the new Shell gas Why station. Daily. That's Wise it's Daily. Wise Daily, yeah. 565 and Wild Triana, Bibi. And then it's, if you know where Cracker Barrel is, across the street from Cracker Barrel on the other side of the road over there, there's three hotels, and it's the one on the southernmost side. <laughs> Traffic wasn't so bad you could get there. <laughs> Anyone else? Not can I get a motion. Is it approved? Second. second. Which one? We've got motions and seconds everywhere. <laughs> Pick one. I'll call. I'm in. Let's go. You gonna go? You gave me a second. Who's second? I think Mara. Mara did. All right. We got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Can Can I get the vote, please? Council Member Seifert. Aye. Council Member Robleski. Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Powell? Aye. Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. The motion passes. Thank you. Okay, you have ordinance number 2021-255. This is a uh, zoning request for property on Skyline Road. There's two different lots there. Each lot is um, just under 16,000 square feet, so the total amount of the two lots is a, a little under three quarters of an acre. Um, there is an annexation request later um, on your agenda for these properties. The uh, zoning um, that they would be if they get annexed in is R2, which is the zoning that best meets the, the lot size. Um, and what we've been zoning a lot of the property in Skyline Acres into. Uh, these, um, this request went to the Planning Commission and there was no um, opposition and staff in the Planning Commission are recommending approval. Open the uh, public hearing. Does anyone would like to address council and mayor? If not, we'll close the public hearing and ask for a motion. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Um, Mary Beth, what's currently on these two properties? Is it a house or is that the mobile they're home? They're vacant. They're vacant. Mm -hmm. okay. Can I get the vote, please? Council Member Powell? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Motion passes. I'm standing in for engineering this evening. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. on. Get you. Uh, so you have uh, resolution 2021-306-R, and this is to approve a contract with Morrell Engineering, which is a civil engineering consulting firm, and this is for them to provide services for um, in support of the Garner Street Extension Project. So they'll be doing the construction management um, inspections. Uh, and oversight, if you will, of our contractor, and this is to help keep that project on track. And the um, the, the not to exceed price is 
$7,600. And um, if the project is finished earlier and they don't bill that out, then we're not going to be paying them mm -hmm. that full amount. So it just depends upon the project. Move to approve. Second. Motion to second. Is there any, any discussion? I'm not going to pay you extra, just you build in this time. That's all right. You can put on your annual praise award. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Good to know, Teddy. Thank you. Can I get the vote, please? Councilmember Powell? Aye. Councilmember Seaford? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Councilmember Robleski? Aye. Councilmember Spears? Councilmember Bartlett? Aye. Councilmember Denzine? Aye. And motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Beth. And police. Good evening again. We have uh, resolution 2021-301-R, approval of the Madison County Multidisciplinary Team Interagency Agreement in coordination with the National Children's Advocacy Center. This is a memorandum of agreement with uh, uh, specialized investigators to help us come in and uh, they'll do um, forensic interviews with children for those ugly cases that no one wants to see. But it's a, a, a very well needed service and uh, very important that we sign on to this agreement. Move to approve. Second. Yes. Motion and second. Who's getting it? Yes. Renee. Renee got a second. <laughs> Jump ball. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any discussion? If not, can I get the vote, please? Councilmember Robleski? Aye. Councilmember Bartlett? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Councilmember Spears? Councilmember Powell? Aye. Councilmember Denzine? Aye. Councilmember Seaford? Aye. Motion passes. Second resolution for police is 2021-309-8, uh, accepting proposal for CI Technologies Incorporated for IA Pro software in the amount of 17000 that will be coming out of our budget. Currently, we have a software program called Guardian Tracking that we use for personnel issues keep track of administrative and uh, internal affairs investigations, um, employee discipline, things like that. Uh, it, it's, it's a good program, but it doesn't aggregate data. And we want to be more data driven on the police department. So we uh, looked at CI Technologies and IA Pro software, which will give us uh, better aggregate data to keep track of our administrative investigations. And it adds a suite known as Blue Team that allows us to do electronic use of force uh, reporting which we currently don't have. We kind of we do it by hand right now. Um, one of the first process improvements that I brought in when I took over as chief was to change the way we do use of force reporting to add a lot more parameters so they can really get a 360 degree view of when we use force, how we use force, why we're using it, and whether or not it's effective. Uh, and I brought uh, Captain Cook who actually uh, worked with CI Technologies and has tested it if you uh, wish any comments from him. Good. Move to approve. Oh. Minute. We've got a motion and a second. We need a second. Second. Motion and a second. <laughs> Is there any discussion? Uh, no, sir, I did not. <laughs> Had to twist his arm to get him to look at it, though. <laughs> Can I get a vote, please? Councilmember Powell? Aye. Councilmember Robleski? Aye. Councilmember Spears? Council President Shaw? Aye. Councilmember Bartlett? Aye. Councilmember Denzine? Aye. Councilmember Seaford? Aye. And motion passes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chief. Yes, Chief. Planning. Mayor Beth, you're up again. It's a triple header. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> First item is proposed ordinance 2021-258, and this is for annexation of the property we were just talking about with the zoning, and uh, we are asking or recommending approval for that. Move to approve. Second. Motion to second. Is there any discussion? Can, can I get the vote, please? Councilmember Robleski? Aye. Councilmember Powell? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. <clears throat> Councilmember Spears? Councilmember Bartlett? Aye. Councilmember Denzine? Councilmember Seaford. Aye. Motion passes. 
And the next item is proposed ordinance 2021-286. This is vacation of uh, an easement at the Heritage Hills subdivision. You can see the hashed area there. And that is for um, location of a, a monument sign to advertise the um, subdivision. And you had a first reading at your last meeting, so we're asking for approval this evening. Move to approve. Second. Motion to second. Is there any discussion? Can, can I get the vote, please? Council Member Powell? Aye. Council Member Seaford? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Aye. Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Motion passes. Last item for planning is resolution 2021-308-R and, or 303, excuse me. And um, this is a professional services agreement to hire uh, Orion uh, Planning and Design uh, to do the comprehensive update of the, um, the comp plan. And uh, the contract amount's a little under $300,000. That includes a contingency budget that we wouldn't use unless necessary. The contingency is in place in case we need to hold extra public meetings and so forth. There's substantial outreach within the contract, but it's nice to have that as a, a um, in the works if, or in the background if we need it. Move to approve. Second. second. Motion is second. Is there any discussion? Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, uh, Council Member Spears and I were able to uh, participate in interviewing uh, potential candidates for the comprehensive plan. One of the things that stuck out about Orion that was I thought was very helpful was that they were used to conducting uh, public engagement meetings both virtually and in person. They had a lot of experience doing that during the pandemic. So, and they're planning on offering both options as we move forward in uh, devising a comprehensive plan. So I thought that was one of the things that was very impressive about mm -hmm. their application. Very good. Can I, can I get the vote, please? Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Powell? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seaford? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Beth. You want to stay for revenue, too? <laughs> okay, revenue has two items tonight. Uh, the first one, uh, resolution 2021-302-R. Uh, this is authorizing an exchange of information agreement between the uh, City of Madison and the Alabama Department of Revenue for tax administration purposes. Uh, we've actually had this in place since 2003, I think it was. They're just asking that it be updated. Move to approve. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? Um, I just wanted to ask, this, this will give you better information on getting those business licenses renewed and, and streamline that process, is that correct? No, basically what we would use this for is, um, and what, this is what most cities use it for, mm -hmm. is they'll conduct audits throughout the state and if they have audited a company in Madison, we can get that information okay. and just kind of piggyback off that. Okay, very good, thank you. Can I, can I get the vote, please? Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Powell? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seaford? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, the uh, second one we have, uh, Resolution 2021-301-R. This one's coming up to you, it's just coincidence, it's at the same time but uh, the Madison County Sales Tax Department had also requested we do an exchange of information agreement with them. Uh, we share a lot of the same taxpayers, so um, I would recommend this. Mm -hmm. Move to approve. Second. Motion to second. Is there any discussion? Can, can I get the vote, please? Mm -hmm. Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Powell? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seaford? Aye. The motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening. I have three items for your consideration, and the first two have to do with the renovation of the Three Springs property, and so I'd like to briefly introduce the first agreement, and then I believe Mayor and Steve have an update for you on the general progress of the project. The first item that I have is resolution number 2021-310-R to authorize a professional services agreement for construction management services for the project with Turner Construction Company, who has been our partner on multiple city projects and very, very successfully. The contract value for this is $667,460 to be paid with proceeds from the old library sale. And this is just for general construction management services, including coordination with a contractor, estimating, value engineering, and helping us with the bid phase. Move to approve. Second. Is there any discussion? I, I would just piggyback on top of that. I know Steve and Corey both have put enormous amounts of time into that. Uh, two quality organizations here that help us basically define what that's going to be. So it's kind of been drawn up. They've already, we have conceptual drawings. Uh, they now have to turn those into actual specs that we can bid out. And so both organizations will work to do that. We'll bid that out. Uh, I don't know the time frame, but uh, we got to get them in there before we can even get to that point. So this is the starting of turning that facility formerly known as Three Springs uh, into our own community center. Right. They're currently developing the design documents and the general schedule is to um, bid this out so that it's ready to be starting construction in July of 2022 and then hopefully being completed by July of 2023. Very good. Is there any other discussion? If not, can I get the vote please? Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Powell? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. The motion passes. Great. And the second agreement is for resolution 2021-311-R to authorize a professional services agreement with Nola Van Persum Architects, another valued city partner. The contract value for this one is approximately $762,500, but that could give or take a little bit over the course of construction because it's a percentage-based contract. This is for architectural design services as well as bidding and pre-qualification support and site visits to check progress along the way. Move to approve. Second. Motion is second. Is there any discussion? Can I get the vote, please? Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Powell? Aye. Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. And motion passes. Okay, great. And the last item is resolution 2021-321-R to authorize the purchase of playground equipment from Omnia Partners Purchasing Cooperative. And this is for the Kids Kingdom Playground. It includes a castle structure and a lot of general playground equipment. And the purchase for this is $617,271. And this is a bid list purchase, so we can't also purchase installation services from this supplier without bidding them out. So that will be the next phase of this, but we would like to place this order because it could be five months or longer for it to be delivered. But we'll make sure to coordinate the bid timing and the installation services with the arrival of the equipment. To approve. Second. Motion is second. Is there any discussion? Did we pay for it upon delivery? Or we, we pay for it? For, um, for the castle structure, we pay for it up front. That's 222000 approximately. And then for the rest of the equipment, which is approximately 400000 it's half up front and half upon delivery. All right. Is there any other discussion? If not, can I get the vote, please? Council Member Robleski? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. Council Member Spears? Council President Shaw? Aye. Council Member Bartlett? Aye. Council Member Denzine? Aye. Council Member Seifert? Aye. And motion passes. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Yeah. It's all good. Thank you. Any other miscellaneous business or announcements? Motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. So be it. Thank you.